crackberry.com. Okay, folks, Kevin here, and it's time to go Crackberry on this new BlackBerry Torch 9800. We'll take a good look at the hardware, then we'll dive into BlackBerry 6. And by the time we're through this video, you will know what it's all about. So let's start with the touch screen, which is, uh, you don't have to click on it anymore. Woohoo! Uh, resolution is the same as the old Storms, 360 wide by 480 tall, and it is a proper touch screen. So if we fire this on, you will see you no longer need to click to do stuff on it. Tappy and it works. It's beautiful. And it supports all the gestures you'd hope for, just like pinch to zoom. Proper touchscreen experience. Love it. Uh, underneath the touchscreen, you have your standard BlackBerry controls. You know, make a call, hang up, your BlackBerry back, back, BlackBerry back button, uh, the BlackBerry menu key, and your BlackBerry trackpad. Slide it open. Full keyboard. That is what the Torch is all about. And it really is the best of both worlds. So if you're the kind of person who likes this sort of BlackBerry with that, you know, full keyboard, one-handed ease of use, you don't sacrifice that. You still have that, but you also have this touch screen. And, you know, if your fingers get sore, you can't be typing at night because you're in bed with your uh, girlfriend, wife, significant other, whoever beside you, uh, you have the soft t keyboard to touch on, the software keyboard. And it works. Beautiful turn it sideways, it's all good. So, lots of ways to use this device. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. It literally works every which way. Everything's tappable on that screen. You can fully use the device uh, with, with the trackpad. You can fully use it without the, tra without the, uh, the keyboard at all or the, the trackpad at all. There's no wrong way to use this, and there's lots of ways you'll find yourself using it. Sometimes I'm like this, sometimes I'm like this, sometimes I have the keyboard out, sometimes I don't. It's really a fun device to use, actually. Okay, keyboard itself. Well, let's talk sliding action for a second. I love sliding this thing open, and uh, RIM has given you the choice of what you want that sliding action to do. So you can jump into your options and change if you want the slider to make the phone open or close. That is awesome. Uh, keyboard itself, really good to type on. A little bit different. You know, you look at the, the keyboard side by side here, and it looks like a bold 9700 keyboard. But this is actually the thinnest keyboard RIM has ever built. Uh, which they had to put on, I think, a, you know, a piece, piece of stainless steel to keep it really stiff still. So you kind of have keys that are a little clackier with a little, little less distance traveled to them in, in comparison to, say, the Bold 9700, which is a little mushier. I really like the feeling on this. I know keyboards are very personal, individual things. Some people are going to love it. Some might like it less than, let's say, this one. I love the, the keyboard on the Torch. Love typing on it. Uh, slider action feels really good and we're told it was designed you know the design inspiration was actually the uh, high-end kitchen cupboards you see that kind of that kind of acceleration point they have cool looking device okay other parts of the hardware here around the top of the phone you have your standard lock button your uh, you know that turns the screen on and off you've got your mute key Left side of the phone is pretty clean. You only have your micro USB port. They actually removed the left side convenience key that's, that's on you know almost every, I guess, every other BlackBerry smartphone. Uh, they got rid of it, they said, for basically streamlining the experience, which is kind of interesting. It makes sense, though, in the sense that your right side convenience key typically launches the camera. Most people leave it like that, and it also snaps the photo. So to, you know, have the left one on, yeah, I like having it. That's how I always launch Twitter, so I find myself phantomly clicking for it. But having only the right one makes sense, or who knows, maybe they just ran out of space by jamming everything under the hood there. Uh, back of the device, 5 megapixel camera, first device in the Black BlackBerry platform to get that, and we'll see them moving up on more future devices with 5 megapixels. Takes great photos. The video recording on this is only 640 by 480 pixels, though. Kind of low. It's actually the same as on the uh, the Pearl 3G. Uh, yet this only has 3.2 megapixel camera, which leads me to believe it's not th this hardware is capable of of maybe HD recording even. Uh, I hope, but that it's the chipset used in here that is the limiting factor because this also has the 3.2 megapixel camera, records at lower lower resolution than this guy. These are the same. These both have the N Wi-Fi. There's something going on here with the chipset, but I digress. Uh, that is too geeky. Maybe the Torch 2 will have it all solved. Battery door. Love it, love it, love it. It's got this kind of uh, rubber ribbed texture to it, and it uh, it's really nice. You know, the whole device for the Torch 
it's a it's a little bit heavier phone. Uh, it's definitely heavier than this. The first time I picked it up, I was like, whoa, this thing's heavy. I think Rim weighs it in at 5.7 ounces. I weighed it at 5.9 ounces, which is close to Evo 4G weight. But it's not heavy in a bad way. It makes it feel like a quality instrument. You know, it's a quality tool. Like that, It's very unassuming. It's very unpretentious. This thing just gets stuff done. Uh, and you turn it on. It's just a really nice experience all around. Uh, under the hood, though, looking... New battery, 1,270 milliamps. It's smaller than the battery in this guy, so the battery life isn't quite as good. It's been getting me through the day pretty well. I haven't had any days where I've been, you know, in the red zone by midnight, uh, which is making me happy. Heavy users will probably be running low by the end of the day. Uh, I've been pretty moderate heavy on it, but um, but you know how it is. You can always suck back battery if you want to. There's a lot of things you can do on these devices that speed up that process. Memory, it has... 512 megs of flash memory built in, which is double to the 256 and something like your Bold 9700. Uh, and then it, they built in four gigabytes of device storage into the, you know, built it in hard into the device. And then they also sent a four gigabyte uh, card in the box at and is giving you. So basically you have eight gigs of storage out of the box, uh, although it's split up between four and four. This is expandable. You can pop it out and put in up to a 32 gig card. Uh, you know, if bigger ones become available in the micro SD format, the device will take it. There's no limitation on that front. Uh, processor is the same as here, 624 megahertz. So that's what you're looking at around the device. Uh, other hardware things to note. You know, the call, quality, the call quality is good regardless of the slider being open or closed. So if I'm on a call, you know, with my girlfriend, I can just do that while I'm talking and she says I don't sound any different. So that's a good thing. Uh, otherwise, I think that covers a look at the hardware here. Quality device all around. Loving it. BlackBerry Torch, 9800. Let's look at BlackBerry 6.